Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here in Elm Creek with Grover Games. So last month we ended up having quite a busy month. We got all our we got our new ground all worked out and I picked up a, quite a few contracts for us. I actually picked up a sewing contract for us to do today. So we're going to be plant, drilling, planting some corn later on today in field 35 which is all the way on the other side of town over there. That little town over there where the ballpark's at. Uh, I also picked up a few fertilizing contracts. And we also got all our own fertilizer to today, and we also got, oh, uh, weed control to take care of today as well. So we're going to jump in here and get started right away, because we're, we're going to have a fairly busy d month. Uh, fair, bleh, fairly busy day today, excuse me. I'm trying to get my bearings all in sort here yet. So I was thinking... As I start in this season, I think this is going to be the last season for this series. I think we're going to cut cut off from this, this series for a little bit and take a little break from it. We, it's been a long, long haul so far, but I, I have an idea of a new series. I just haven't decided on what map I'm going to do yet. So we might have a little bit of... Oh, content might slow down for a little bit here in the next... So week or so but I'm I want to try my best to get started on it I I kind of have an idea of where what I want to do for the next series and such I'll, it'll definitely be a different it won't be one of the standard maps it'll be something a little bit oh what's the word I'm looking for it's gonna be on a oh I'll think of it here best better way to put it here in a second it'll bit basically be on a standard map map setup so to speak but I think we're gonna be using a older equipment again on it like it'll be a pre-made map and such I just haven't decided which one I want to try to do it on or build a farm on yet and we'll, we'll we'll be going in a different direction from this series so it'll be it'll be something new something different and something exciting uh, I th I'm thinking of right now still you I think we're gonna be end up using older equipment on this series and kind of doing Kind of doing like a no-till planting operation again, but with a mixture of other things. Like we won't be using, we won't be using all the advanced technology that we've been using on this series. Basically, I guess is what I'm going for. We're gonna be, I think, and we're gonna end up kind of, kind of using uh, probably like maybe some Alice Chambers, uh, Case IH, and or Case International equipment, such like that. Just a. Kind of start a new series, breathe a little fresh air. I'm not saying that that will never come back to this series. I mean, we've put a lot of time into this one. The only difference is I don't think I think we're just going to play on normal economy on the next series just cuz it has I will admit it has been a little bit rough for this series playing on the hardest economy setting. I didn't think it would be as rough as it felt to me, but you can definitely tell it's a little bit of a it can be a little bit of a struggle, I think. Oh, I'm trying to decide. I think we might do some sort of cattle operation on the next series, or maybe even pigs, to be honest with you. Pigs would actually probably be a fun one to do, so... I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet for sure, but it's something that is in the works, so basically towards the end of this... By the end of this whole uh, year, we're, I'll, ha I'll hopefully have everything worked out to the way I want it to be so I just kind of wanted to give an update on that side of things because we're going to be we'll be approaching close to 100 episodes and that that's a lot further than I was expecting to get in this series especially with the hard economy settings so to speak but I I think overall that's going to be probably the better choice just so this series doesn't grow stale and even 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 we might come back to this series a little bit after a while because like I said it's been a fun series overall, and just the fact that I feel like we've gotten pretty far for for kind of what re, kind of all the all personal rules and settings I've set for myself. But I just kind of want to put that out there just so you guys can, those who are watching this series, know what's going on and what if I why there's all of a sudden no longer any uploads. But like I said, we're gonna we're gonna finish this year out at least. And then we're going to go from there. Like I said, I'm still in the works of figuring out how I want to do everything on it yet. And there's a few other things I got to check out, out yet as well. But I think, so for today's 
schedule. We got three fertilizing contracts we'll have to take care of. We got our other sunflower, our new sunflower field that we got to take care of as well for fertilizing. And then we got weed control over here that we got to take care of. So we'll have a fairly busy day and then we'll be hopping into the new Holland and we'll be breaking out the all oh, the 16 row planner to get out there and get the sewing contract done for a neighbor of ours. So we're going to jump into the time lapse here finally and we'll see you guys in a bit.
Like a light, lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words
All right, everyone, this is where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. It's kind of a little bit of a shorter one recording-wise, but since we got such a uh, different planting method now, we don't we are not as busy as we are normally this time in the spring. I mean, at least we're keeping busy with our custom work for all our neighbors yet. Such we we made a I wouldn't say a good lot of money, but I'd say decent amount. I mean, we're up to seventy one thousand out, a little over seventy one thousand dollars now. Um, but I don't know if next month is going to be much better either, because we got all our weeds and stuff taken care of. I think next month we'll be doing a lot of custom work as well. Actually, I think next month is usually when we should start thinking about selling our oh our fabric too. Let's go look at that quick. Actually. We got to be selling that today here yet, looking at the pricing. Oh yeah, I we definitely got to sell that today. So we'll we'll finish out here. We'll finish out here quick. We're gonna get the truck truck and trailer, and we're gonna go sell whatever fabric we have, and see what we're at for the day. Um, so yeah, like I said, right now I think we're gonna we're, we'll probably take a break from the series after this season. Uh, I'm gonna. I got a few maps in mind. I'm gonna go play around with in my off time here. I I'm not gonna say which ones yet for sure, but they're definitely gonna be more Amer. They're gonna stick to like the American style, like we got here. Oh, we got this set. Turn the beacons off here. Let's take care of that quick here. But right now we're gonna head back over to our spinnery quick. We're going to sell all the fabric. I thought, for some reason, I thought May was usually the main month we sell all our fabric, not not April, but that's okay. We'll, we'll grab what we have here. I don't think... I guess I never looked to see how much wool we had either. Make At least make good use of our... Tri uh, of our oh, drive over here, but that's fine. We'll, it'll be fine in the end. We're not going to really lose out on too much, I don't feel like. In fact, our spinnery has been slow. Our spinnery has not been at as busy just because I think I think I made a few poor choices choices when I kept selling the sheep like I was, and then I sold all the fa I kept selling the fabric like I was too, or not the fabric though, the wool as well. So it's not it's ma probably mainly my own fault why we it well I shouldn't say probably it is my own fault for for why we're not going to be making near as much money off fabric this year. But you know what? We just have our hands in so many different corners of businesses right now that it's kind of hard for me to oh, do a proper focus on everything, so to speak. But we're going to get it all this loaded up here. I guess we're not doing too bad. We still got a thousand liters of wool in there yet. So we got, we still got a good amount of, oh, come on, work with me here. Thank you. We still got a good amount of wool in here yet to last us at least one day, and then we'll probably, ha we'll probably have to make sure we bring some over tomorrow if we even have any wool. I think I think we just had a bunch of sheep come in and into the barns as well, so it's... It's... We're kind of... Like I said, we're in kind of a tricky situation. A lot of it's my own fault, but it doesn't seem like... Looking at the, like our pile of fabric here... I don't feel like we've missed out on too much, to be honest with you. At least that's how I feel. I haven't... Mm. Well, we'll we'll get the trailer loaded here, and we'll, we'll know for sure then how much fabric we got. But I don't feel... Whoop. I honestly don't feel like we did too bad, though. I'm just kind of... kind of curious now. Let's see, we got five stacks left. I know it's definitely not the most we'll ever sell, but it, I don't feel like it's the least we've ever sold, though. I feel like it's just a little below average is probably the best way to put it. Throw this on here. Oh, there we go. And the last one. Wrong button. Uh, let's see. There we go. We'll get this all hauled all over to the grocery mark here. So, 13,000 liters. Um, I feel like that's a little around average for us. So, I guess that it, we didn't do too bad. But, 
I do know that we've, I feel like we've always averaged like 16 maybe. But look, I'm more than likely wrong. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I never, I never fully pay attention, but I do know that we're not as full as we normally are. I feel like we're all the way back to the, to the ramps normally on this trailer. But we'll go see about how much money we make. I'm guessing, oh, well, I guess I'm not thinking about the environmental score either. That, that environmental score always throws me off when I'm trying to figure out how much money we're going to make. It's just not used to getting the bonus money for being eco-friendly, so to speak. But we'll head up head the gros grocery mark here quick. Ooh. I better slow down a little bit. Swing on in here. how much we got how much more income we got coming our way I'm guessing we'll definitely be over a hundred thousand maybe like a hundred ten I'm guessing oh we're oh wow we're more than a hundred ten I was really wow fifty one thousand dollars plus six thousand for the environmental score so we made fifty seven thousand dollars ish I was I was really lowballing it inside my head here, but that that we're at a good chunk of change. In fact, we probably could almost get away with buying another field if I wasn't planning on already putting a shed up in the yard here. I still feel like that's a priority for when we do decide to come back to this series. But like I said, this is where we're going to wrap it up today, everyone. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, and it really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.